Okay. Today is uh, April 26th. Uh, now this year is the 29th anniversary of uh, my mom's passing. She passed away on uh, April 26, 1988. I was over in uh, Korea, in the army still, and uh, that was what they call charge of quarters. Where you're kind of watching the building all night, 24 hours, and then you get the next day off. And uh, yeah, somebody came in from the Red Cross and said that they were looking for me. And that they had word that my mother had had a heart attack and uh, had been uh, pronounced dead. So they put me on a plane the next day. I flew from Kimpo Airport in Seoul all the way to San Francisco nonstop. 16 hours. I got so drunk the night before, so I could just sleep all the way there. I was met at the airport by family, and uh, I was told, no, my mother actually had not passed away. The Red Cross got it totally wrong. But she was critical. She lost a lot of oxygen, and she, her mind was pretty much gone. She didn't, she couldn't do anything. She couldn't talk, but she could squeeze her hand. So she was up at Stanford, and I got there. It was like she was waiting for me. And uh, I held her hand, and I told her I was there, and she just squeezed my hand back. And then we had to decide whether or not we are going to have to uh, take her off life support. And in the end, she said, no, you're not going to do that to me. I'll just do it myself. So she passed away. And it was hard because I hadn't seen her for like a year. I was over in Korea and I'd just been home the year prior to that for my grandmother's funeral, her mother. And then the same day that my mother, I heard up news, I got a letter from her. Because back then, it would, mail would take like two or three weeks to get overseas. And that my Uncle Kevin, her brother, had passed away as well, just three weeks prior to her. So it was like in a course of just a little over a year, I lost my mom, an uncle, and my grandmother. Yeah, a little too much, but I still never uh, gonna forgive the Red Cross for that. I mean, like uh, <laughs> to be told she's dead and then come home and find out she's not dead and then to have her pass like that it's just brutal, brutal. But anyway, uh, I'm not gonna make this too sad anymore. I usually do like a whole little concert set for her, but this year I've just been in the hospital and so tired and so bedridden that I haven't had any time to prepare anything. So I'm just going to do one song for her. I wouldn't say it was her favorite song. I don't know that for sure. Um, but it's the song I always associate with her when I think of her because it was a song that she really got into. Um, it was my aunts, all my aunts sang the song like at family gatherings and stuff. And uh, it's actually from the uh, 1973 uh, Jesus Christ, Christ Superstar album, soundtrack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the song sung by uh, Mary Magdalene called uh, I Don't Know How to Love Him. I'm 